friends of our channel be welcome. Please try to watch the videos in sequence because the information sometimes is complimentary. Answers of an Alien from Andromeda, 17th Encounter, 18th Video, November 28, 2010. Question, Steve Ask, why UFOs seem to enter freshwater reservoirs and lakes? Are they entering to hide from the public? Are they entering some type of hidden underground system? Are they refueling with fresh water? Back in the bygone days of the Mayans, there were some bases with entrances in lakes, in different regions, but, were closed long after the technological development of humans from Earth. Today, there are underwater bases in the oceans. When ships sink in freshwater lakes, they do especially for deionize airframes, and collect water, which filters for general consumption on the ship. In regions with much movement of aircraft and people, can also choose to stop at the bottom of lakes for rest of the crew, with little chance of being disturbed. Currently the man is almost everywhere and when operations are close to urban centers, the lakes are quiet places to land. Some fields of invisibility technologies use different techniques to produce, generate heat and if the ship landed in an area like a field, would mark the plants almost cooked outlining his presence, and birds commonly collide with the field dying in shock. Question, Mithy, how are the situation with the sea floor activity? The heat generated by increased volcanic activity, is significantly altering the temperature of ocean currents, it should already be causing unwanted effects on your regional climate, and accelerating the melting of the poles. Both the Atlantic and the Pacific are warming up their chains, causing an increase in evaporation, and consequent atmospheric changes around the globe. The increased activity at the moment, is 32% bigger as same period last year. We expect to remain steady until March next year. Talking about ocean, just for the record, if you had the technology for translators of languages today, would be very impressed to learn that are not the only intelligent beings with advanced reasoning on your planet. Dolphins and porpoises are also advanced forms of intelligence, common innocent beings. We have included the regional dialects of them recently, was made available by Arcturians. They have helped with lots of information relevant to oceanic research, and know that some of them are being transferred from the planet for their own protection. Question, Mithy, friend Clive asked to make a weird question. Who appeared on Earth first, the chicken or the egg? Well, no problem Clive, is a simple matter of development. None appeared in the first, it was only an adaptation. It was a continued development and adaptation to environmental source. The birds came from a development of the reptiles. While living in the water, where the reptiles began, there was no need of hard eggs, only a thin gel placenta, which dissolves in water releasing the offspring into the water to develop. When development has forced some species to migrate to the land, have long returned to the water to spawn their young. Another species that have spread throughout the interior, had to adapt their eggs placenta to be born amid dry, and then the placenta started to have more resistance to protection of the pups, in contact with earth and sand providing a means of fetal development more protected and warm. Even today on Earth you have examples of all stages, reptiles who put their offspring into the water, like frogs and the like crocodiles, lizards and turtles that lay eggs which the placenta is a thick skin like leather, and finally birds that pose their placentas covered with hard calcium shell, to protect it from attack by insects from which emerged the calcified eggshell as they are known today as chicken eggs, known as normal eggs. So, this is a question that's not really up on this issue. 
Question. Clive ask about 10 most puzzling ancient artifacts found on Earth. Could you tell us what these artifacts are? Clive, we have not, archaeologically speaking, all the information about artifacts left on Earth. There are millions of planets, each with many details of history. I will answer that there is available information, including similarity with stories of other planets we know. These spheres are very similar to markers of minerals used by the ancient miners of planets. The civilization of Camelopardalus is extremely ancient mining in several solar systems. These spheres were widely used by them to mark their exploitable reserves examined on the planets, there are many billions of years. The probes through the spheres program to emit a signal frequency after preliminary review, and these could be found later by the tracking system, if that mining operation would be carried out. If they have the old mark of them, were left by their exploiters, the warehouse is located in your solar system on Saturn's moon Apatus. These disks of minerals, if a certain amount, when placed on a single axis at a certain distance of a wavelength, amplifying the cosmic energy that could be used to send distress signals. For thousands of years ago, as used monoliths of rock, programmed as a constant signal emitter for spatial navigation. Because these shipwrecked possible from space, they had no programming capability, possibly having lost the essential system of the ship. There may have been trying to build several antennas amplifier to maintain a point of absorption of energy that could be captured by some rescue unit. Probably, they used portable units of low energy laser to cut and create the disks. This can be analyzable, because they must have traces of high temperature in its creation. In this context, the ancient civilizations must have spent making your own, as a symbol of contact with the beyond. It is the most appropriate explanation that may befall me, for these antennas resonance were a way to try a rustic type signal EPI or be distress, a desperate attempt at salvation. I have no record of this type of artifact, wait, okay, I found some information. These engravings are extremely old, the Incas, representing aspects of their historical experiences provided by their mentors. Most are pre-Inca regarded as relics of the ancestors, by his own people. The drawings of dinosaurs interacting with humanoids are proof of the longevity of these artifacts. I did not find anything about this artifact. Looks like some kind of mechanical time marker built by skilled mechanical engineer of your ancient times. These batteries have been introduced for approximately 4,000 years in ancient Egypt, by a race of Andromeda who helped create the pyramids. Moreover, all the pyramids were to help these people, the planet AT, in the solar system from a tune, in the galaxy Andromeda. This started as a pleasantry, the gods, set up a primitive ionizer with small plates of zinc, copper tube, magnesium and some water. They said to Pharaoh to urinate in the container for seven days. After seven days, brought one plasmid strand, between the two terminals of the ionizer, that lit up like magic. It was a cold light, which is not heated, but illuminated enough for the standards of the time. After the initial joke, they started this technique with the pharaohs, who used sulfuric acid or vinegar to make the batteries work, but would save the secret that died with them after the latest generation of the Egyptian elite. The filaments of plasma, were stored even as the greatest treasure given by the gods, the starlight. This is an old high-voltage insulator, was used in old power generation system for the anti-gravity drives, 
thousands of years ago. They used four to six of these insulators on each bobbin of field generation on the spaceship. That was left behind by some maintenance staff of any spacecraft at time. By type of design, seems to be a very old reptilian isolation unit. A fantastic archaeological prospecting. Well, these artifacts depicting ancient spacecraft were very common in the cultures of the time. Had them in gold and presents the crews of the ships that were bringing knowledge of the stars. Millions of years ago, the very old small service spacecraft, used jet thrusters, as you use today, being much lighter than the old magnetic navigation units, which were large and heavy. Were much like your jets and helicopters of today, when they returned, were collected by mother ships near the ground. You'll find many of these old small spacecraft on the moon dropped a result of early struggles. These spears, it is evident that already had been removed from their original locations on your current Central America, originally designed accurately the solar system and its correlation with all the major constellations, emphasizing the Pleiades, including the proportionality of the planets. When they were placed there, by Pleiades, as a monument, a gift, there was no vegetation there is now in place, and the monument could be seen perfectly from the top. You are smart people. I'm sure I need not answer this question. You was very fortunate to have found such traces. I think this definitely proves the point in question. How many of you have written somewhere, I was here? The Earth is being visited, explored and monitored for billions of years, it is natural to find traces of it. If you go looking, you'll find much more inexplicable things by your scientists. In every age of the Earth, when animal life began, the planet has for many billion of years a source of hunting for several civilizations. In the hunting seasons, ships leaving here with thousands of tons of meat from large reptiles. Fences, campgrounds, utensils, were left on the planet without concern. I think we return in the same case as the previous question, hopefully, We'll continue to find out these ancient evidence that you are very recent occupants of this territory, which claim to be your possession. Wait for our next video. Thanks for watching, join our channel. You are welcome there.